Hi friends, it's Sintang Mayumi. I have three cards, one kit collaboration with my friend Cheryl Sabado today. Using Spellbinder September Die Hard Club of the Month. The Die Hard Club of the Month has small die set called Ikabu. I hope I said that right. And large uh, die set called Game of Gnomes. I already went ahead and assembled my die cut pieces off camera to save some time. I die cut all the pieces with watercolor paper and color them with Daniel Smith watercolor watercolor paints. I didn't die cut them with colored cardstock because I don't have the colors that I need. Coloring the pieces with watercolors is another option if you have buildable dies like this. The only thing that I die cut with colored cardstock is two of the Halloween costume with the fluorescent bones on it. I also die cut these bones with cardstock white cardstock and I'm going to use them for my shaker card. For the first card, I used Fright Night stamp set from Raisin Boat. I will leave the link of this stamp set in my description box below if you are interested. I'm going to stamp these two large images on my watercolor panel using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm using my Misty here to make sure my images are stamped, clear, and crisp. I'm going to emboss my stamp images with clear embossing powder and melt the powder until melted and shiny. I will do some ink blending on my panel using Distress Inks. And the colors I use are Faded Jeans, Spice Marmalade, Black Suit, and Dusty Concord. I'm also using my paddle brush to do the smooth ink blending and cleaning the brush in between colors so I don't contaminate my ink pads. After the ink blending is done, I'm going to splatter some white ink using flicking motion with my stiff paintbrush. And the white uh, watercolor that I use is from Pentel Arts that I got from the store. I did the splattering in the bathtub because I have small surface and I'm avoiding the white paint all over my desk. And then after that, I'm... Um, I'm drying it with my heat tool to make sure the panel is dry. And then I'm going to adhere two of these Halloween characters in front of the card. And I was going to add three char characters in front but it doesn't fit so I'm adhering the other one in the inside of the card. For the sentiment, I'm going to stamp two of the sentiment from Fright Night stamp set with Versamark ink and emboss it with white detailed embossing powder and then heat set it with my heat tool. And then I'm going to cut my sentiments using my Fiskars trimmer. I will add the sentiments with foam tape and adhere them on the upper right corner of the card. For the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp Happy Halloween from the Tim Holtz stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and stamp it in the middle. And then I'm going to add this character here and adhere it beside the uh, sentiment but before I do that I'm going to adhere this panel in the inside of the card and my card base is a 110 pound black card base I added some shimmer on the pumpkin bucket and my card is done 
For the second card, I will die cut the middle of this orange panel with Gina Marie Design Scallop Stitch Squares. Tape that down with washi tape so it doesn't move when I run it through my die cutting machine. I'm going to distress the ed edges of this uh, die cut panel with Dusty Concord Distress Ink and I'm, going, I'm also going to distress the inside uh, where the scallop is. I have white paper here and I'm going to add a uh, color um, in the middle and that's uh, what I'm going to use for the background of my shaker. And then I'm going to flick some of this uh, Distress Resist spray and this one that I have is already uh, the no nozzle is not working so I just opened it and just flick it on the paper. I'm going to add double sided tape on the back of the panel and you can use liquid adhesive to adhere your clear plastic but I tend to use a lot of glue and I thought this way is safer for me to use because I don't want the liquid glue showing on the clear acetate. I'm also going to add foam tape on the back of the panel and I only did one layer of foam tape. I will run my anti-static powder tool on the sides of the foam tape so when I add my shaker card elements then they won't stick on the sides. I die cut more of these bones here and I will add them on the acetate facing down. I will also add this iridescent silver sequence from my stash and then I'm going to peel off the backing and as you can see I already um, add the background for my shaker and I didn't get that on camera. And then I'm going to add this uh, panel on my A2 size top folding card base. I will add two of my characters in front of the card with glossy accents and then I'm going to adhere the other one in the inside of the card. For the sentiments, I'm going to die cut the sentiment die from the small die kit of the month with dark blue shimmery cardstock and then run it through my sidekick machine. I arranged the letters on my surface and used washi tape to pick them up all together and use glossy accents and adhere it on the card. Before I used the washi tape, I removed some of the stickiness by rubbing it on my skin first before using it. And then I'm going to peel off the washi tape carefully. I'm just brushing the um, die cut uh, boogers I don't know what you call them but I, I call them die cut boogers uh, the sentiment is not centered so I will add three of these gems from my stash and then I'm going to add or stamp a sentiment in the inside of the card and I use uh, the happy Halloween uh, sentiment again and then I'm going to add uh, this character next to it. Moving on to the third card, my panel is watercolor paper and I will use the mini cloud stencil from my favorite things to create a cloud background. I use peacock feathers distress oxide ink and use my paddle brush again to do the work quickly. I die cut this piece here from Mama Elephant uh, Landscape Trio die set and I will color that with tea dye Distress Oxide ink. For the sentiment, I'm going to use the You Are So Special sentiment from Hero Arts All Occasions stamp set and I'm going to stamp that 
with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And then I'm going to die cut uh, this panel with Stitch Rectangle Die. I also die cut that piece that will go on the lower part of the panel so it will match and I don't have to trim it. And all I need to do is add all the images on my panel and I use foam tape on the back of this mushroom here to pop, pop it up uh, on the uh, panel and then I just use uh, liquid glue on all of them. And we can adhere this panel on our A2 size top folding craft card base. For the inside of the card, I have a leftover of this mushroom that I didn't use. So I'm adhering them uh, in the corner uh, of the card here. And I'm just using liquid glue. And you can't finish a card without a shimmer, so I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen on all of the mushrooms. And my three cards using Die Hard Kit of the Month collaboration is finished. Be sure to check Cheryl's video and see what she created using these dies. I will leave her links in my description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.